One of the issues that has been raised is concerning the safety of the water supply. And on public water systems, if the water pressure has remained on during the flood, as this one, at least we believe has, then the water will be safe because the system has been pressurized during the whole flood period. Now, if you're on a private well, the, you can't assume that the water system is safe. In fact, uh, if the well itself was flooded, it is not going to be safe until that well is cleaned up. Public wells that get flooded have the same problem. And in a public situation, of course, the, the public water supply is taking care of it for you. They don't put that well online if it's not producing safe water. So the well is taken offline, they work to clean it up, and then they'll bring it back online when they have it safe. I think I'd like to talk some more about these private wells, Morgan. If, you're, if your well has been flooded, it's not safe to use it. Is that correct? That's right. If your well has been flooded, it's going to have contaminants from the flood water, which include bacteria from septic systems, from untreated wastewater uh, systems from cities, lagoons, livestock waste, and, and so on, treated as raw sewage. So, so what do you do with that then? Well, it's a, a process that involves uh, removing the equipment from the well and uh, using a baler or pump to pump out all the sediment, and you've got to continue to do that until the water that you get out is clear. You want to stir it up down there really good so you get that sediment out. Then you put the pump back in and you run the pump and make sure that the water you're getting is clear. Then you would use a shock chlorination treatment. The procedures for that are kind of spelled out in our extension bulletin on shock chlorination. And then uh, you would shock chlorinate it, recirculating the water back down in the well to make sure that you've got the high dose of chlorine mixed into the whole column of water in the well. And you continue to do that for at least 10 minutes. Then you close the well up, make sure that um, you have it sanitized and sealed up so nothing else can get at it from the outside. And then you go in the house and you start opening faucets one at a time. And when you smell the high dose of chlorine, then you shut the, the faucet off. You let it sit there for at least 12 hours, preferably 24 and uh, then you waste that chlorine water. You don't want to put it on vegetation because it could kill it. You don't want to put it in your septic system because it's not good for that either. So you put it out in a roadway or someplace where it isn't going to harm anything.